Hi, welcome to Magpie Moonshine. My name is Kaylee, and this is a deck unboxing of the Alice in Wonderland tarot deck um, and guidebook. It is the official Disney one that has been released. Um, this arrived yesterday in my house and I'm doing it today. Um, and it's quite nice to have an official Disney deck because obviously the original artwork from the storybooks is now outside of copyright so everybody can kind of access those but the Disney stuff is still under copyright and trademark so um, and intellectual property rights would be infringed if they were used. So um, it's quite nice to have an official one. There are a lot of um, tarot decks out there that feature the Disney artwork that aren't official so it's quite nice to be able to have a legit copy so to speak. Um, for those that don't know, you've probably seen the Disney Villains tarot deck, uh, the Nightmare Before Christmas tarot deck, there's a Labyrinth tarot deck, they are all um, by Insight Editions. So actually I'm not 100% sure that Labyrinth is. Um, there's Labyrinth and Supernatural and I'm not sure if they do too. But anyway, this is um, the Alice in Wonderland tarot deck. So let's open up this plastic and have a look. Um, okay. Oh. I've just spotted there's purple bits on the on the edge of the the deck. It's not gloss, it's just kind of spot printed, UV printed. So we do have this matte metallic foiling to the front of the box. Um Alice Wonderland Tarot deck. And on the side it also has the foiling, the top has the foiling with as I said, these spot glosses of, of purple. There's a harlequin pattern to the background. Um, and then obviously we've done the front, so let's have a look at the back. So it includes um, a fully illustrated 78 card deck and a 128 page guidebook. Explore your past, present and future with this official tarot deck inspired by Disney's Alice in Wonderland, featuring the art, original art of Alice, the Mad Hatter, the Cheshire Cat and all their friends from Wonderland. So it's a two part box, anyone who knows me. Very reminiscent of Nightmare Before Christmas with the stripes, even though they are obviously the blue stripes. Here we go, nice tight. Oh look, it has roses and teapots and pocket watches um, and mushrooms all inside the inside of that box. Um, so let's take the guidebook out first of all. And I'll get to that in a minute. And then we have the deck itself. And again, this upside down version of the <laughs> inside of the cover, slightly different blue. Um, it's kind of the alternating blue off of that. Well, no, it's not actually, is it? It's different. There are just so many different blues in this box. Um, but they're upside down on the inside. That's quite a clever little thing to have it upside down. Uh, the back of the deck features this six pointed star. Um, and obviously teacups and a teapot. So, and it has roses and hearts. So you will be able to tell slightly that, you know, in the reverse, not from first off, but you can kind of tell if it's coming up reverse because it will flip it, which kind of makes sense with an Alice in Wonderland tarot deck that something would have to look upside down when it is. Um, there is a slight bevel to these cards and I think oh, just from the edge of the card, not like they're bent necessarily, but the edge you can feel there is a, where they've been um, put like that and then they obviously slice the deck in one, um, one die comes in and does it um, and you can feel that that's been die cut because there is this slightest tiny uh, lip to the edge of these cards. That's not unusual for a deck of tarot cards, by the way. Anyway, let's have a look at these cards. So we have the Fool, the Magician, the Mystery, instead of the High Priestess, we have the Mystery, we have the Empress, The Emperor, Queen of Hearts and King of Hearts. The Hierophant, well she is her... Um, oh, what do they call them? That's really annoying me, it begins with G, but the Nanny, but it's not the Nanny. <laughs> it's the one that teaches them. The Pair for the Lovers, Tweedledum and Tweedledee. The Chariot, that bottle that she sails on. Strength with the dandelion makes sense. The hermit, mouse in the teapot, uh, wheel of fortune. It's one of my favourite scenes from that. It goes round and round and round. Isn't that the dodo and the carpenter? So justice, 
Suspension for the Hanged Man. Transformation of Caterpillar. Uh, temperance. Eat me, drink me. A little bit of balance between the two. Makes perfect sense. Temptation with the Devil. Obviously the Walrus. Oh, the Walrus and the Carpenter, wasn't it? The Walrus and the Carpenter. Um, the Tower. The Star. The Moon. Riddles. He never actually gives a direct answer. That makes perfect sense. Uh, the Sun. Judgment. How are you going to go down and follow the White Rabbit? Very much a judgment energy. The World. And we have the King of Flowers, the Queen of Flowers, the Knight of Flowers, and the Page of Flowers. We have the Ace of Flowers, the Two of Flowers, the Three of Flowers, the Four, the Five, Six. Obviously, these are just pips. They're just multiples of one thing. So, seven of flowers. The eight of flowers. The nine of flowers. The ten of flowers. And then we go into the king of hedgehogs. The queen of hedgehogs. Oh, there's a hair in that. That's weird. It's a brand new pack. Knight of Hedgehogs, the Page of Hedgehogs, and we have the One of Hedgehogs. Oh, obviously, they were the balls. The Two of Hedgehogs, the Three of Hedgehogs, the Four, the Five, Six, Seven. The eight, the nine, and the ten. We have the King of Spears, the Queen of Spears, the Knight of Spears, and the Page of Spears. Then we have the Ace, the Two, Three. Four, the five, six, seven, eight, the nine, and the ten. And then we have the ten of uh, the king of teacups, the queen of teacups. The Knight of Teacups and the Page of Teacups, the Ace, the Two, the Three, Four, Five. I do like that they are cracked actually, that gives an energy of that card. The Six of Teacups. I wish they'd done a five pointed flower because that would have been more in keeping with the traditional um seven of teacups the eight the nine and the ten of teacups so i'm sure when we look through the guidebook it'll be abundantly clear what each of those suits stands for but in the meantime let's see how they shuffle first of all a riffle shuffle First time going through, they evenly, pretty evenly. I mean, they do bend as they are being riffle shuffled, not unheard of for a deck, but um, I mean, these this deck is under 20 pounds. So um, I'm not expecting amazing cardstock. And to be honest, based on the Nightmare Before Christmas, the Labyrinth ones um, and the Disney villains, it's not the best quality cardstock you can get, but for 15 pounds, you can't expect indie grade 
uh, cards. These feel very thin though. Um, hand over shuffling, they do want to clump together. They don't, but that's probably because they've still got this lip from where they've all been cut together. So they're all kind of just slotting into each other a bit like, it's very hard to get two apart actually. Um, they are matte printed cards. As you can see, there's no glare from the light at all. Um, they are matte, they're very thin, very thin cards. Um, I don't know if they have some sort of texture to them that makes them feel ever so slightly slippery, but not slippery in a way that it wants to wash, that it's not washing very easily. Um, so they're not moving around each other very well. Um, I mean, the imagery is cute. Um, and they are traditional tarot size, if anybody wanted to know that. Quite thin, floppy cardstock. I've had better cardstock for this price point, but um, it's not awful for the price point. So we have the Alice guidebook now. So we have the inside cover. So it's Minerva Sigil um, and illustrated by Lisa Vanina. Um, obviously the contents page. Uh, introduction. Understanding your tarot deck. Um, so there we go. The flowers represent communication, uh, creativity, travel and inspiration. It corresponds to fire. Uh, hedgehogs is earth. Spears are air and teacups um, are obviously cups. So water. I don't understand how flowers were. Anyway, so we go into the major arcana then. So we have the number, the title, description in the upright meaning, the reverse meaning, and then a full, I do like this, a full colour image of the card. And that is the same through all the major arcana. And then we go into the minor arcana, which is a bit more green than it is actually showing up on this camera for some reason. And then we go into the suit of flowers. So we start with the king, upright, reversed. Queen, upright, reverse. There is a smaller image, but it is still full colour. I do like that. Um, and that goes court cards, king to page, and then ace through the ten for the flowers. The hedgehogs, the spears, teacups, all the way to ten. Then it goes into tarot readings. Caring for your deck. Preparing to read tarot. Um, and then we have spears. So we have the doorknob spread, which actually looks more like a key. Follow the white rabbit. The Cheshire Cat's conundrum. And then there's a bit about the author and there's a bit about the artist. And then we have the, um, the Hierophant card there. And then we have all the um, production details in the back. And then we have the Queen of Hearts on the back. Um, it does actually have a um, title up the spine as well so really good quality guidebook for the price point um overall i mean i like it i do like it i feel that there could have been other choices um with regards to what cards went where but i think that's the same with any kind of pop culture um film or um tv series car uh deck that we all have our personal attachments to tarot we have our personal attachments to those films and so trying to make them correspond on a major scale is always going to be difficult um most of the majority of them though i do agree it does work i think there could have been some that were pulled down to the um the pips of the deck um and actually i feel like the court cards were a bit lazy this time with to be perfectly honest the choices for who would be each of those i think we could have gone um slightly more um there's a distinct lack of the hatter in this deck um and the hair so um there's no flamingos i mean for one you could have had flamingos they were literally the croquet bats like mallets you could you could have had there's so much that was was lacking in this deck from what you could have taken from the story to apply to the tarot that it just felt like lazy choices like someone had half thought about who we could put where and it was more a case of oh this is an Alice deck we'll put images here here and here um I mean overall it's a fun deck I mean it's not going to exactly leave my collection it'll just sit there with the uh the, all the wonderful decks that I already have from this series it's just I don't know this one feels I love Alice in Wonderland and I think they could have done so much more with this um I don't know, maybe if they do like 
through the looking glass if you if they went into the johnny depp series of um alice that would be that would be pretty cool if they could go into it a bit more um you could have father time and all that in it then so um anyway hopefully this deck uh review has been um helpful useful to you if you're considering buying this um i mean i like the deck i just i, I don't know i just kind of have this kind of I don't know what I was hoping for and it wasn't exactly high based on the previous decks. I knew the pips were going to be just Im repeated images of the same thing. I knew it was there was going to be no like intuitive descriptive kind of images there like you do with the um, it's Tarot de Marseille so you're not exactly going to have the same. It's just um, I don't know I just feel like the court cards could have been so much more um, you literally have the king and queen of hearts and you haven't put them in the court cards so um i mean the, if you went into the other alice the other alice franchise you could absolutely have the white queen you could have bayard you could have all these wonderful characters come in um i mean the cheshire cat came in as the moon but there were so many other things you could have the cheshire cat for the seven of cups there's so much you could do with it it's just i don't know it's just a bit oh the anyway that's just my personal opinion um anyway i hope this has been useful to you and hopefully i will see you again soon bye for now